Hey everybody. Okay, so here's the other side of the apartment here. Um, we're going to put up a different style of beam. This is a, a larger gap. It's uh, 13 and a half feet. Um, so what we've done is obviously we've, we've done our, our pre-support wall, supported it into the old trusses, right? Right here. All the old trusses, just like the other side. Also, we did the shims underneath to snug it up against the ceiling. Keeps it nice and snug. Okay, everything's nice and locked in place. Now, I did the framing a little different on that one. If you see, we'll come around here. Light on in here. Oh, wrong light. Where is it? Here we are. Okay. So, I framed the top of this one in. I haven't screwed much of it in yet because obviously the trusses are on level. And as you see, right there, it's not touching, but it's level. Okay. It's hard to see, but there's gaps on the trusses. Okay. Or not on the trusses, on the rafters. So when I put my beam in, when it sits level, I'm going to have to shim underneath those rafters and get them to sit again. So, and also here, it didn't come out far enough, so I had to put a ledger board on, right, and bring out the lip just a bit. So, now it's fully framed in. We got our king studs on right here, right? There's our bottom plate along there, another king stud, okay, and then there's a top plate. So, that's just going to help for levelness, uh, just makes it look a little cleaner. And then we are using an LVL beam, laminated veneer lumber right there. So this is your best way to go about putting on um, a very large span. Um, I'm still only going to do uh, 12 feet. No, it's going to be 11 feet. It's going to be 11 foot span. Okay, so we laminated three LVL by 14 feet. Well, they're inch and three quarters, so inch and three quarter by 14 feet. And we laminated three together. I also used the nailing pattern a little different. Instead of staggering, I do two, one, two, one, two, one, two of those things right there. So these screws here are special design. Um, instead of using carriage bolts, uh, these actually suck everything really close. They're specially engineered for um, making beams. So you don't need to use carriage bolts. You don't need to do any drilling or anything. You just screw these in and you're good to go. So. Um, again, DC Construction here with you, just going over some quick tips or some quick things on how I do my beams and how um, things are going to look here at the end. So uh, thanks again for stopping by and we'll talk to you soon.